How's it going guys? My name is Ted and today I wanted to have a small conversation with y'all about the screen resolutions on smartphones. And you could probably guess that the LG G3 with its 1440p display is bringing up this conversation because it's definitely what's bringing up this conversation. Uh, that display, the LG G3, has got a 1440 by 2560 pixel resolution in case y'all haven't heard. And that's 4 million pixels inside of its 5.5 inch screen, which is a fairly large screen by today's standards. Um, it would have been considered enormous, you know, years ago, but now it's about average, I guess, for the modern day smartphone. And I want to talk about the past before I talk about the present or the future, because that's where you should definitely start things at. And if we go back to the past, you had smartphones, like in around 2009, 2010, you had smartphones with, with very uh, blurry displays, the, the pre-HD, I'm talking like, you know, 600 by 840 resolution, something that just wasn't very crisp and sharp at all. And then you moved on to HD displays, and everyone was very happy about that because suddenly we have a high definition display with a million pixels in the palm of our hand. But then we kept going. We kept going to 1080p displays. And the first one, the Droid DNA, brought out this, uh, just showed off this awesome screen, this 1080p display with 2 million pixels in our hands. And the battery life was crap because it had so many pixels, that it wasn't fully optimized for that many pixels. And then we kept going, and then we reached today, and we have a 1440p display with 4 million pixels in this phone. And I believe that we've kind of, we've kind of gotten off track here. I think that in the past, displays were a problem. They were not sharp enough, and we had to fix that problem. And we fixed that problem with HD displays, and then the natural evolution led to 1080p displays. But I think that we've created another problem by going on to 1440p displays, and here's why. I think that when we move to 1440p displays, we're no longer helping ourselves, but we're actually hurting ourselves. Because with 1440p displays, to get them inside of a smartphone, we normally have to go for a larger display. I've seen so far a 6-inch display with 1440p resolution, and I've seen a 5.5-inch display with a 1440p resolution. And both of those phones I consider to be too large for the average consumer. Over time, sure, they can get that resolution down to a smaller size, but at that point, why not just have a 1080p resolution display? Because it's too many pixels to really understand and to focus on and for your eyes to differentiate from anyways. So when you move on to the more resolution, more pixels, uh, bigger displays, you're eating up more battery life and you're also taxing your CPU and your GPU a lot more to continually run those displays to refresh your frame rate on your phone and to keep your phone running smooth it takes a lot more resources. Now although we have those resources by these modern uh, uh, processing units like the Snapdragon 801 is the most popular one uh, as I make this video, the 805 will be out in a little bit and that will be even stronger and faster and better. But there's no need to tax our GPUs that much, there's no need to have such large batteries and then there are these massive displays which just tank and you use all that battery life. I would rather see us focus our energies on something that's a problem right now in cell phones. Uh, I'd say the biggest problem right now in cell phones is the fact that they don't really do anything more than they did about a year or so ago. You know, we've got the same form factor. We have a slab phone that's got a speaker, it's got audio uh, inputs, it's got a camera on the back, it's got a nice big display with uh, seemingly smaller bezels, and they keep getting bitter, bigger and bigger and bigger. But the problem is a bigger phone isn't actually doing anything more for me. And that's where I want the phones to change. I would rather us focus instead of on the past where we had to get a better resolution because our phones were uh, blurry and not very good resolution, we fix that problem. You know, we can keep fixing that problem and getting higher resolution displays, but why not do something different? Why not move on to a curved display or a uh, like a rollout display or a holographic display or a, pro or a projector or projector display? Something that's different, like wholeheartedly different, but something that actually benefits the end user, you know? Uh, right now with these high resolution displays, although the benefits are small, very small, because there's no content that's actually abusing that 1440p display, there's no videos that are recorded in that high resolution, there's very few pictures uh, that you can view on the web, like on Facebook, it, it maxes out at 2 million pixels, um, you're, you're not using that screen to its full potential. But what if we did something different, like the G Flex, how it curved the display? Now that phone didn't really give any use to that curve, but there probably is some utility to having a, a curved display. Let's say we had a display that had a, like a cascade on the side. It looks very, looks very nice. Fits better in the hand because it's cascading along the side. It has smaller, smaller edges. Uh, could fit better in your hands. Now there's a benefit to that, right? And if you had a phone that had like Samsung showed off one time, if you had a flat, like a slab type phone with a, with a display that curved sharp off to the right hand side for a notification bar along the edge. Now there's. There's, there's a benefit there, there's a huge benefit, but there's not a benefit to me 
with a 1440p display because my CPU is being taxed more, using more battery life, and the phone has like literally 2 million more pixels to turn on and light up, and that's going to use battery life. It's always going to use battery life. They can say they optimize the crap out of it, but at the end of the day, a 1080p screen would, would use less battery because it's going to be using less power on the CPU and less power to light up those LED bulbs. So I believe that in the future, we need to go toward these better technologies that actually enhance our use of the smartphone that actually give us different abilities whereas right now we're sticking with like the slab structure of like a like a flat display on our phone we need to change that I'm not sure what we need to do to change it but I'm sure that companies are already looking into other, other things because if you have a company like Samsung they're gonna be looking three or four years into the future of their product line and I can't imagine that two years from now they're gonna do a 4k display and then four years from now they'll do an 8k display and then six years they'll do a 16k display I don't foresee that happening with that evolution for smartphones. Either they have something entirely different, like not a smartphone at all, but like a wearable device that replaces the smartphone, or whether they have a different display technology entirely. I don't know what will happen, but I don't believe we'll see 4K displays. Oh, I don't believe we'll see anything higher than 4K displays. I think that we'll see a complete evolution of the smartphone or a complete evolution of the display technology at that point. So that's my thoughts. It sounded kind of like a lecture. I don't know why that happened. but. Let me hear your thoughts. Leave them in the comment section down below. Do you think that displays will just keep getting a higher resolution? Do you think that they'll change shapes or form factors? Or do you think that we'll move to an entirely different device entirely? Because, in my opinion, all those are very possible. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, subscribe to my channel if you're new. I post videos like this where I just talk about technology quite a bit. So, be sure to subscribe for those. And also, click the like button if you uh, enjoyed the video because it really helps me out quite a bit. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.